Hey, what's going on, guys? Gene, Plugable coming to you live from uh, your dropshipmancer.com. And um, this video, what I want to do, I want to talk about uh, AutoDS uh, automation tool and how you could use this tool uh, to take a full uh, you know, control of automation of your business. So uh, let's talk about uh, what AutoDS offers. Uh, it a, has a regular lister that you could list uh, items manually which uh, is pretty cool rather than listen actually manually on uh, eBay this tool uh, you know scrapes and grabs information from uh, your suppliers such as Amazon let's say uh, and it uploads into a template which you could uh, easily edit and uh, you know make some changes but uh, it makes things a lot quicker rather than just copying and pasting and then transferring from one place to another and I'll show you how it, it works so it has a book and a scheduled lister Basically, you could uh, bulk list your items. Um, you know, with one click, you could do like a thousand listings, whatever. <laughs> and uh, it, you could also schedule them uh, based on, uh, let's say, if you like listing items at a specific time uh, of the day, you could go ahead and uh, schedule your listings, and uh, it will go according to your uh, scheduler. So, price and stock monitor. It does uh, track price and the stock. Monitor your stock. So basically, the cool thing about it is that uh, you could actually put uh, the minimum amount of uh, stock should be left before your item goes out of stock. So you could put like minimum 10 items left uh, in stock. Remove my item when it's at that level. So uh, it does a uh, pretty good, uh, you know, monitoring and uh, price. Whenever price changing that changes at your supplier, it goes ahead and changes it on eBay. Uh, so profitability monitor, you know, so uh, it could uh, monitor your profit uh, from your eBay based on your sales and uh, how much uh, you sold it for. So automatic orders and automatic tracking number updates. So what else? The what the the thing that cool about it is uh, it could automatically uh, order products for you, or you could switch it to semi-automatic, which you have to confirm. Uh, to process the order, but uh, automatic orders is pretty cool because once the order comes in uh, with Amazon, then it automatically orders it and automatically update, updates uh, tracking number, and you you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> so and it supports cashback sites, uh, so you don't lose out on cashback. And um, three automatic messages to buyers. Basically, whenever you sell an item, uh, you could set it up and you could edit it. Uh, the tool sends out automatic messages to buyers like thanking for purchasing the item and uh, asking for feedback or uh, there's uh, there's already pre-set up messages you could use or you could uh, you know write your own and edit it of course so auto finder tool that finds you uh, thousands of profitable products in just one click so basically this is a pretty cool tool uh, I was playing with it um, Still haven't used it to its full potential, but this tool right here, uh, Auto Finder, basically you buy credits, and then uh, based on the credits that you buy, you could uh, click, and uh, the tool will automatically find you items that has uh, that have sales history and uh, upload it automatically to your eBay. Customer support is uh, phenomenal. You know they're always there. You know very quick and responsive. Beautiful eBay mobile friendly listen templates. They have uh, cool templates you can use. And currently, the suppliers that are currently being uh, supported are Amazon.com, Amazon, Amazon uh, UK, Amazon uh, Germany, Walmart, AliExpress, and Banggood currently. But uh, the tool is releasing more uh, suppliers as we uh, move along. Such as next one is coming out is. Uh, uh, Wayfair and then is gonna happen uh, going next for uh, overstock so yeah so uh, let's go to the tool itself so looking at the tool itself uh, you could see that it shows you uh, dashboard 19 li uh, listed 000, zero, zero. okay so uh, look it shows you based on 24 hours so this should be a graph if you make sales and stuff and orders profit chart so it shows you the profit then uh, you know how many uh, listings you got listed out of uh, 1,200 package. Uh, that's what my uh, package uh, that I subscribe to. And then uh, the, how many uh, remaining? How much uh, out of uh, 
you know, 1200 minus 19 equals 1181. So eBay accounts, you could link multiple eBay accounts. So you could basically manage your uh, eBay accounts just within this tool, which is pretty cool. Uh, auto orders, uh, it will autom automatically auto order to uh, items for you. How many out of stock? Pending orders, failed orders. If there's any that was failed, and all connected user users fail. So basically, it kind of shows you this, uh, you know, these uh, details over here uh, that could be important to you. So if we go to uh, active listings, um, and right here it shows uh, all the active listings. So you could actually. Uh, click on each and uh, you could edit them manually or uh, you could uh, actually you know select select all or select uh, you know whatever you whichever ones you select and you could uh, click on bulk change and you could uh, you know change titles uh, basically you could uh, yeah so you could uh, Basically, bulk change the prices on all of them right away, or you could click here and um, change the titles of all of them, and it's just gonna be a pop up. Then you just go and change titles, which is pretty cool. So, here, uh, these are the items that are being monitored, and uh, you could see how many the quantity, uh, how much it's selling for, the source price, and uh, you could see the views. The watchers, the views, and everything, and uh, how much profit each item makes based on uh, your settings that you set up over there. So, uh, upload date and basically uh, the status over here. You could see in stock, in stock, and out of stock show reason. Uh, so, if you click here, item uh, became available uh, on buying sites at out of stock. Reason product quantity for is less than user's minimum in stock quantity. You change it on launch of C. The cool thing about uh, our DS tools, what I love about it is that I could set a minimum amount of quantity uh, that when it uh, when it goes down to that quantity, uh, the tool has to remove the item out of stock. Like when, and when it's four left, many other tools they'll still keep it in stock until it's completely out of stock, and I don't like that. I like when you know because what are the chances are that when it's completely gone and uh, a tool scans it every hour, two or three hours, then uh, you know the chances are you're gonna sell the item and the tool is not gonna remove it. So this is a cool uh, feature that uh, RDS tools has. And um, same thing, product quantity is five is less than the user's minimum. So yeah, so you could check it out over here. Uh, it's pretty cool. And um, let's see, so uh, you could see on track listings and uh, orders. Um, yeah, so you could you could see the tool uh, had auto ordered all these, and they're marked as uh, you know completed and shipped. You could uh, actually uh, do you know mark them manually and stuff, but uh, when it's on auto order, the tool will uh, you know make make the change for you. So. Uh, Okay, let's go uh, check out the customer service. So customer server right here, um, I'm not going to be clicking on all them, not to just expose the messages and everything, but if you click on the inbox, uh, there's going to be messages uh, that are going to show up, which you could uh, basically respond and read without even going to eBay account, sent, trash, cancellations, all the returns, resolution cases, and cases. Basically, you could, uh, you know, monitor and uh, uh, your store just within the tool itself. So even if you have, let's say, a VA, you don't have to have them go to your account. They could uh, do a lot of the things inside a tool. So, okay, uh, clicking on mo monitors. You could set your, uh, you know, uh, rules, your formulas and stuff over here. There's videos that actually show you how to do everything, so I'm not going to explain much. But I'm going to just show you that, uh, you know, these are the rules. There's some pretty cool rules you could do. Uh, what this software could do is uh, every time you sell an item, it will uh, raise the price. Like, you know, and you could set how much more you want it to be raised every with every sale. Or let's say if uh, items haven't been sold uh, for a specific time, it will remove the item or 
it will uh, you know change the price uh, ch uh, lower the price down and if it doesn't sell then bam it removes it so this tool could do uh, all of that like automatically based on your settings that you set up this right here AutoDS Finder is a awesome tool because uh, what you could do uh, uh, you could buy credits AutoDS Finder credits and basically uh, one dollar is one credit two so uh sold with two dollar profit on oh, no, right here uh two credits hold on i'm tripping here okay at least one sold with one dollar profit equals one credit so uh you could see if you want to list list a thousand items it's gonna cost you a thousand credits and this one is two uh sold uh two sales in the last 30 days with two dollar profit so uh, you could click uh, the profits estimated based on the Amazon and um, at least five sold with three dollar profit basically you could click here and it will find you items uh, uh, that have been sold in the last 30 days five sold and at least three dollar profit um, yeah so and then what you do is just let's say you put uh, 20 and then click just upload bam you, you set your uh, you know set your rules over here and then you would just click schedule upload and bam it's gonna or upload products or you could schedule it and it just gonna upload them automatically which is kind of cool and uh, and yeah, if you click here, buy other uh, credits, you could uh, choose uh, which packages you want. And, uh, you know, it will show a package of 10,000 credits equals uh, 13.013 per credit. And basically, you could choose if you want, like, 1,000 credits. Or, never mind, that's packages. Okay. So one package of a thousand credits equals per credit. Okay. So one package equals thirteen bucks. So one thousand dollar credit equals thirteen bucks. So you could play with it and you could uh you know get your own packages and uh based on how much items you want to list. So uh with uh product uploader right here, uh let's show you uh basically over here regular upload or oh, you could do bulk upload. You know, and upload everything in bulk. You just, uh, you know, paste a bunch of links over here. And schedule upload calendar. You could schedule your uploads over here. So regular upload, let's say. You could play around with this later. There's training videos that explain how everything works. But let's say if we take this, we could either take the, the EIN number. Where is it at? Or we could just take the, the whole link and uh, upload it to, let's see, I mean, ASIN number. Um, it's late already. <laughs> so I'm uh, it's already uh, almost 1 o'clock at night. So uh, product ID, okay, bam. Amazon US, okay, so the blue template, grab details. Okay, so right here, uh, it pulled all the information, all the UPC codes, all the product identifiers, item specifics, and everything it could possibly do. Uh, and you could actually add the spe item specific, you could add, add your own copy specific from eBay listing. You could put uh, the URL or a eBay ID and it will copy the item specific, see, uh, there's uh, images that are copy. The cool thing is you could create a collage. Let's say I like this one and create a collage and bam, look, it's going to create a new uh, picture right here. Or uh, you could do a three image collage. Bam. It's just pretty cool. It makes it more unique. And uh, you could actually, you know, make this be your... Uh, top main photo which makes it unique and stand out uh, rather than uh, keeping it the same as others 
you know, so I pulled that information and everything, and, uh, yeah, so, that's how you upload uh, the product, and then, uh, just, uh, okay, so now we're in the settings, uh, right here, so I moved my video right here to block off some of my personal information, and so you could see these, so, uh, so yeah, so uh, this is where you change your uh, subscription plan. You could add another eBay account. You could add a VA account, which is pretty cool. You could add a VA account, and you could give them permission so to only uh, view the active listings dashboard or to do customer service. So you could give them different accesses uh, and limitation. And also, it has an Amazon gift card. Uh, it's uh, Triple Mars, which you could click here, and it will redirect you. So. Uh, uh, RDS is a cool tool for automation and um, you know it does a great job with uh, what it has eventually uh, the tool will add more suppliers as we go along but as of right now you know the suppliers that this tool has it's a great uh, you know great fit for them and it has a lot of automation and automated stuff there's also an extension with it that uh, you know, I'll share with you guys on another video, and uh, there's so much cool stuff. So, uh, what I want to tell you guys that, uh, you know, uh, on on the bottom of the link, I mean, on, on the bottom of this video, you'll get, you see a link to join RDS, and uh, if you click my link and um, join join with us with RDS then uh, you will get my bonus and uh, if you click the link you'll you'll see what I mean and uh, what's included and what bonus I'm talking about so I hope you guys like like this video and uh, you know feel free to uh, thumbs up subscribe and you know let's connect and I'm looking forward uh, to your success and have a great day